Semiconductors impact every single aspect of your life. Whatever device you're watching this on is relying on semiconductors. Your world would not look the same if semiconductors didn't exist. The average audio amplifier that you might have in your car would have more transistors in it than the Apollo Moon Rockets microprocessor would have that took it to the moon. It's the ghost in the machine. It's like the air because they've been so ubiquitous that we've come to take them for granted. We have created the monster. Our ability to be online and our craving for knowledge was driving us forward, but our Achilles heel is we're reliant on this one particular device. Making a chip is a very complicated task. There's no one single entity that can do all that. One chip crosses an international border an average of 70 times. The average smartphone has about a dozen chips. So do the math, it's substantial. The current supply chain of semiconductors is surprisingly fragile. A single event could disrupt the entire supply chain. We cannot just say, oh, this is a European problem, this is an American problem, this is an Asian problem. This is a world problem. The way I would like to think about resilience, it's not just about enduring the harsh conditions that are, but to imagine what better conditions that can be. What's happening right now is we're really reorganizing the infrastructures of the future, be it our energy systems, be it our mobility systems, be it our communication. Yes, it's going to be expensive. Yes, it's going to be hard, but it's kind of like the idea of pay now or pay later. Innovation is just a part of humankind. People are curious, you look to problems, you start to understand them, and because you understand them, you can start to address them. The future doesn't exist. The only thing that exists are many futures, and they're all in competition with each other all the time. Whatever profession you're in, your job is to fight for the future that you believe in.